Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody back to the Tiz Talk Podcast. I am your host, Chuck Tiz, a.k.a. Taylor S. And tonight, we're doing a very special episode for the Valentine's Day special. I have a very special guest with me tonight. Um, Her name is the Skeet Skeet Scallywag, Susanna. Uh, Just kidding. That was a joke. It was a joke. I've known this girl my whole life. I used to call that as a joke. And don't get mad. Just introduce yourself. Come on. I'm not mad. My name's Susanna, <laughs> the Heartbreak Kids. Yeah, we're so okay. On, on, on the mic tonight. I'll give her the credit for it. We are going to call this episode the Heartbreak Kids with two Zs, like tiz. Two Zs, you know? You get it, fam? All right, cool. If you don't, you'll get it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's a special episode. This is the episode of love, so they like to say. Um... But uh, I think you all know who I am, unless you've probably heard me spit garbage out of my mouth for the past couple of months. Um, why don't you introduce yourself a little bit? How do we know each other? Come on. We have known each other a very long time. How long have Friends. we known each other? We've known each other 25 years. It's been, I think it's been longer than that, maybe. No, I met Kelly in first grade. Who's Kelly? Kelly is Taylor's baby sister. She and I became friends in the first grade, and it was over. I basically lived part-time at their home growing up, and I'd say we've been through a lot in our young lives together. Oh, she's telling the truth, fam, <laughs> without a doubt. Uh, she made me this really like delicious, hot, hot as fuck green tea, but... no. Yeah. Honey, lavender. Sorry. <laughs> I fucked up. It's honey lavender, son. All right. Um, all right. So, you know, just want to go through a few couple things. Obviously, like we always do on my show. Um, let's see. What's the world population as of yet today? I don't know because I'm about to pull it up. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's the same as it was or close to uh, the other day. Uh, when we did this, um, and it is going to be, world population today is 7 point, oh, I'm sorry, yeah, 7.764 billion people on the planet, Psycho. golly, okay, Look, right. roses popped up as you're doing well, this, well, 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 okay, okay, Day don't, the, don't give away map. too much information, okay, what are you talking about, well, no, just, also, I didn't finish my introduction, I will, I'm sorry. Go ahead and finish. Yes. Uh, anyway, the reason I was adamant about doing a Valentine's Day podcast with my boy Chuck Tiz is... Thank you for getting my name correct. <clears throat> is that um, I've loved a lot. And Taylor, have you loved a lot? <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck love is, Susanna. <laughs> I really don't. We both don't. I thought I did, but you know what? You know where my love's at? It's off to the bag. But the love of my neighbor. Shout out Bone Thugs. Shout out Bone Thugs. Shout out Bone Thugs. All right, all right. Um, Anyway, yeah, introduction is... Well, we don't do introductions. Oh, well, We're just introducing yourself. A couple couple more things I want to talk about real quick before we get into anything. Um, today, just today, seasonal flu deaths are at 1,100 people. Today died. Um, Wuhan, coronavirus, life's a beach, and then you die. Uh, deaths just this year are at, uh, about 1,300. Man, Jesus. golly, geez, that is fucking crazy. What the fuck is going I mean, on? There's like, you know, 30,000 cases or something like that. Like, uh, I don't know. But, um, Suzanne, let me ask you a question, and then we're going to oh, move on. Yeah. Just like I, I do this with all my new my new guests. You can't Maybe. stop looking, okay? The fuck? How many people do you think were born today? Just today. Oh, think God. about how many hours have passed. How many billion people in the world? Seven? There's 7.7 7 something billion. I just said it. Oh, 7.76. 7. Yeah. So how many people t- today, today were born? I mean, isn't it one every like 30 well, seconds? Just, just, can you guess? It's almost been, what, it's not... 24 hours. It hasn't been a full day, so, you know, think about it. 
Just make a guess. It's the, it's the wrong answer I'm asking you. I know. This is crazy. You don't have to think about it. It's hard to just guess. 50 million people. 50 million people? Yeah. Born today. Yeah. 50 million. Yeah. That's fucking insane. Is it insane? Yeah, it's insane. How many... <clears throat> okay, so let me tell you how far off you were, okay? <laughs> 331,000 just at this point have been born today. 50 fucking million. Do you know how many? We would run out of resources within the week, well, I swear. Well, okay, also, <clears throat> now, I'm, well, taking, I'm taking... In effect, what, the, the number of deaths? No, the number of people. Okay, well, how many people do you think died world? today? How many people did die today? I'm asking you, how many do you think? I'm obviously not a great guesser. Just, just come out with guess. it. Okay, take what I gave you the answer for the verse and think about that for a second. Well, I don't even remember what the It was 331,000 de- births. So how many deaths? Just take a wild guess. Same. Death. Close to the same. No. Give or take. No. Why? No, because cause that's, not, that's not what's going on. It's 139,000 <clears throat> died today. So our net population growth today, we are gaining 192,000 people every single day. That's fucking crazy. Um, I, I, you, anyone who's a fan of my podcast has heard me do this so many times. I just had to do this to her because she's never done it. Fuck you. <clears throat> well, what do you mean? That's something... I, you learned something pretty important, didn't you? I definitely did, but Fuck also... Fuck yeah, you did. I want to know like the rate per... Yeah. Like, if it's every 30 seconds, if it's every Well, I mean, seconds. here, I'll let you look at it. Here's yours burst today. You see how fast that's climbing? Every basically second, you're gaining 10 people. That's insane. And then here's your net, okay? Net today. So you're gaining, you're, you're, gaining, you're gaining basically 10 million. people every fucking second. Oh, my God. Here's an important thing about loving yourself is being able to laugh at yourself. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's on the top I of mean, your I mean, I laugh at myself all the time. <laughs> you'd, have, right you'd have to. You'd have to. Um, okay. Well, now that we've covered the basics of you know, what's Life. going on in the world, um, let's, let's, let's talk about some stuff, right? You know, it is Valentine's Day. This is the season of love. Oh, God. The okay. season of love. Such an overrated fucking holiday. Um, <clears throat> should we see how much are they spending this year on Valentine's Day? $62 billion? I don't know. You Is that a fact check you can correct? Because I didn't <laughs> look that shit up. I don't, I don't know where my phone is. Oh my is. dear lord. Look it up. Look it up here. No, 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 no. Where's anyway, an insane amount. Yeah, it I, would feed all of those fucking 500 million. What she's trying to say, people, is that this... Okay, and I'm going to give you my opinion. This is not a fucking... A celebration of love. It's a celebration of companies trying to fucking make as much money as possible by selling you overpriced chocolates. They might have shrooms in them. Watch the fuck out. Um, <laughs> um, uh, no, and like, you know, overpriced teddy bears and like fucking dinner reservations and the Valentine's specials and all that stuff. I mean, it's just a bunch of bullshit. I'm sorry, guys. 100%. Like, I do not believe in this fucking holiday. Apparently, everybody else does, though. Or not everybody, but I just think it's stupid for several reasons. And I can elaborate, and I might. Or I could not, and I might not elaborate. Um, but I'll elaborate a little bit. Um, personally, pff, I guess last year I was dating somebody at Valentine's Day. Yeah, Let's was. talk about it. So what did you do what? last Valentine's Day? Uh, we made a promise to each other that we would not spend money. We would split the bill and everything. Of course, the tiz, the tiz doesn't do that. The tiz pays. The tiz pays. Now, this is an ex-girlfriend of mine. I'm not going to say her name because that wouldn't be right. But, God, she's such a bitch. No, um, no, 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 no. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right? All right. Anyway. Anyway, we went to a cool place, had some pizza, a little bit of wine. But she- it's Valentine's Day every fucking day for Chuck Tiz and his relationships. When I'm in one. Okay. So this was one of my questions for tonight is <laughs> wait, wait, what's the ideal Valentine's Day? Wait a minute. Are we jumping into Q&A already? Are we going to... Okay. I mean, we can do that. Yes, we can. What was your story? Finish your story up. No, no. I mean, that was the most recent, you know, Valentine's Day. It was 2019 that I 
can remember that actually, you know, was dating somebody. Yeah. Um, it was a miserable experience, uh, honestly. In my, the dating? Uh, no, that, that, just that dinner. It was just miserable. Oh, why? Because of her. Oh, shit. This is why we're not together anymore. It's more important to be a good fucking person. Like, sex isn't getting you everywhere. I could definitely attest to that. I mean, it depends on what you, what you want. Well, it depends on what you're trying to get. But yeah, like, you remember last Valentine's Day, and the As the being just sucked. basically a fucking, like, typical night with her. Mm. There's nothing special about it. Except the fact that I picked up the tab that she told me not to. And she willingly let me, which is fine. I don't give a shit. We're going to take a brief moment real quick to shout out to our sponsor over at Anchor. Anyways, back to the original Tiz Talk formula. Um, we had come up... Well, I'm sorry, we had. Susanna here. Just keep slinging No, I'm not going to know. <laughs> no, I'm just a, it's a joke. It's a high school joke. Sorry, it's inside. She it's has a, it. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, let's go back to like the original nickname of barbecue. It's way... It's well, just I mean, as offensive, but way it, fucking better. Is it really offensive to you? No, it's not really offensive, I mean, but it's okay. not like... Her name is oh, Susanna. Okay, so we called her Susie Q. For when I was a kid, I liked to be an asshole, and I just called her BBQ, like Susie Q, barbecue. For some reason, apparently that's it's worse ne- than being called Skeet Slang and Scallywag, which I don't Skeet get Skeet Slang and Scallywag is next level fucking <laughs> grab her by the fucking pussy kind of oh, fucking commentary. Holy shit, Trump. All right, chill. That's what I'm saying, so... <laughs> um... <clears throat> We like had made some notes. No, don't feel like anything. This is how we run the pod, okay? Oh, God. This is the formula. Um, so, guys, I'm not an asshole. I just can be what I want to be one. Mm-hmm. I'm a really nice guy when you get to know me. Um, you made some notes, and I wrote let, them down. Wait, but, okay, speaking of, let's, let's just put an exclamation point at, at why you're a nice guy. Um, tonight... We picked up dinner before we started this podcast, and Taylor went inside to pick up the food, and on the way out, he saw a... What I thought was a man. What you thought was a tall man um, at my window. An African-American man. I thought she was harassed. He was harassed. Yeah, he thought I was getting harassed, and um, truly, and, and I say this not for the sake of any sort of bragging or wanting any sort of notification but I was talking to this person I didn't have any money but it's cold in Houston right now and I was willingly about to take my jacket off to give to this poor person which is Uh, a lady by the way we ended up become it ended up being a lady like a man looks like a man (laughs) she's obviously had a hard go um Anyway, so I'm saying this. I was going to give this one my favorite sweater, right? My favorite sweater to me, I'm not going to sleep in the cold tonight. It doesn't really fucking matter. I'm not saying this to brag, but I'm saying this because I think people should live their lives like this more often than not because most of us, if you're listening to this, have way more than you could ever actually really truly need. And in the true essence of love, like that's what it is. Love goes around and it comes around and it's a cycle and it doesn't matter if... It's the person on the street begging for food, or it is, I don't know. Here's What's the other ha- thing? Okay. So, then, so then here's the Taylor part. Here's the hero Taylor part, and hero this is true. Taylor. Not hero Taylor, hero but shop. this is why Taylor is such a great person, too, <laughs> and really compassionate and has a lot of love. Um, so this poor person, we had just picked up Thai food, right? Like, mm. fancy fucking dinner for ourselves. I and wouldn't talk fancy but i mean whatever was, for takeout like it's a nice it's okay. a ni- great meal yeah. great meal uh All right, we're not dating guys <laughs> this is just us friends like yeah we had dinner together <laughs> oh, <found. laughs> never mind go ahead <laughs> no definitely not dating i've tried to date taylor multiple times oh, and he rejects yeah. me I every time there, thank god but uh anyway thank god, Jeez. Okay. Thank god. um but anyway so then this this woman um is hungry so neither of us have cash so taylor offers to buy her some food well, so she's hungry on, first of all, i said what the fuck is going on here because i see what looks to me as a a, a homeless black man harassing Susanna, which ended up being a sweet homeless black lady and all i realized was that she was just she was cold and 
I mean, I don't know. She wanted either to get fucked up. We neither, neither one of us had cash. And I was like, look, man. I was like, I hear you. Like, I will buy you food and and non-alcoholic beverages. Okay, there's a gas there's a gas station literally down the street. I was like, follow us there. And she did. I walked in the store with her. Bought her, I don't know, like a couple like packages of donuts and like cinnamon rolls and a big old bag of potato chips and she wanted Coca Cola. Big old two liter Coke. I mean, you can't it wasn't a lot of money, but you know, I took care of her and gave her a hug and you know, wished her the best. That's all I could really do, but I didn't want to I wasn't gonna shell out cash to this lady to go buy drugs or potentially alcohol because what why? You know, you need the essentials, so I'm not gonna I'm not I'm not gonna pay for someone to get fucked up. That anyway, that that's what I did. I'm not bragging about it by any means. I no, just, it is what happened though, and I wanted to do the right thing, and I did. I feel like I did at least. You definitely did, but that just goes to show you, like we've all been up in life, we've all been down in life, and your compassionate heart is what makes you a great person. Like that's that's important. Oh, man, People that's need to know so that. Nice to hear someone say that about me sometimes. <laughs> Cuz he is like I don't love. get it. Um cuz I can't be an asshole. Don't make an enemy of me, please, people. I um, mean, you kind of have to be in this world a little bit just to fucking survive. Like you can't be soft all the time, you get fucking run over. Um anyways, let's go over the Let's go over uh, the list points. Of stuff that let's you go. wanted to talk let's about, do it. right? So I'll let you start with Numero, numero uno. These aren't these aren't even in real like order. Just like they're not. What what sounds the most interesting to you? Well, I don't know. You wrote okay, so I'll ask you the question then. How about that? Let's go. Your ideal first date. Ooh. What is your ideal first date? Oh my god, that's really hard to top because I. Okay, okay. Let's make it even more dialed in. Yeah. Ideal first date in our thirties. You know, not like high school shit. Like, at our age now, you know? Ideal first date for me would be... <sighs> Fuck. Um, great food. Great activity. Like, artsy museums, outdoors. Kind of like unique. Like, something that's not just some... Let's go to the movie. Outside of the box. Yeah, for sure. And, and As I've always said, think outside the box, people. Get with the fucking times. Um, adventurous, you know, either something I've never done before or something that sparks um, excitement. I'm kind of, I'm very easy to please, but also pretty intricate. <laughs> um, Sounds I'm, difficult in my book. <laughs> it's not. Anyway. It, I mean, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. Um, most females are, I think. Um, but... For sure, I don't know. I I I had the best first date experience uh, when I was younger. This no, guy no. just like thirties. Oh. Can't go past. Well, can't. I mean, it was fucking twenties. I said thirties. Thirties. Okay. Twenties okay. are behind. Us. Real answer. Great conversation. Um, great. But you can give advice to the twenty-year-olds, though. You can do that. Whew. I'm but not, I'm not that, that might be a stretch. I don't know. I mean, I would just say, like, if it's not good... Um, good what? Good energy, oh. good sex, good anything. Get the fuck out and as quickly as you fucking can. <laughs> There's someone who can. Like, definitely. Rip that Band-Aid the fuck off. Rip the Band-Aid off. Like, if you're not getting treated with respect and you're not sexually satisfied, bounce. As quickly as possible. I agree. I mean... You don't have time From for a that. man's perspective, I agree. Yeah. Because I might have been that guy. You probably were many times. No, but I, th- that's the thing that people don't understand about me or get wrong with me. I don't really go on a lot of dates. Like That's true, actually. I don't date. Like, it's not really how it works. I go, like, like for instance, <laughs> I would say the last real date, I, mean, I wouldn't even call it a date, is a one-night stand. <laughs> I go out to a bar, I meet a girl, take her home. One night stand. Boom, bam, done. Don't even... And, and I actually made the effort to try and talk to this girl afterwards, but I guess she just wasn't having it. Um, but she ended up being a real big bitch, too. Uh, and I'm not getting into the details on that. But 
she got what she was fucking asking for, so. That's a perfect segue because I'm curious now about one night stands in your 30s. Like, I don't. I've had a lot of them, actually. It's crazy. I think that it changes when you go from, like, 20s well, to 30s. Well, it's not 30s. like the college frat shit, you know? It's like, these girls... Okay, they, here's my opinion. There's there's several types of girls out there, but the two that I've dealt with the most recently mm-hmm. are looking for someone to... Wife them up. Yeah, wife them up because they're ready to be wifed up. Or, on the other side of the spectrum, you're dealing with people that just want that money. They just want the money. They are gold digging. And I can attest to this, okay? Like, I I don't have a ton of money, but if I act like I do, sometimes these girls, they, they flock to you. And when they find out you don't have it, Oh, man, it's the best fucking reaction, especially after you've had sexual relations with them. Oh, my God. It's the best because it's like, it, you know, it's Hold like... Hold you, bitches. Gotcha. Got them gotcha. again. Got them. Got them, coach. Got them, <laughs> coach. Got them, coach. Got them, coach. But I don't do that. Like, I don't try to do that. It's like I put Teach that, them a lesson. No, dude, but I kind of put... No, I know. I mean, I don't agree that. Fuck them. Fuck gold fuck diggers. If you're that. a gold digger, you might as well move, move, move to Oregon and start digging for some gold. Let's see how fucking successful <laughs> you are. I don't think you're going to find shit. So, but what I'm getting at is, is I don't do that purposely. Like, like uh, make, like lead them onto that. Like I just, they, they automatically assume it by yeah, the way I act, it's I the guess. Way you carry yourself, yeah. The way yeah. I carry myself. And, and, and when they find out, especially after the sexual relations happen, yeah, they, they're not happy. <laughs> okay, but also bitches, like, that's just, like, a glorified level of prostitution. Like, fuck No, it is off. 100% prostitution. Fuck <laughs> that. Like, But guess on. what? The only thing I maybe paid for was a drink. One. Maybe two. But I, I that's mean, $12, fam. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Uh, okay, all right. We've gone off a tangent that I'm just making myself look like a total dickhead right now. Well, maybe so. There's not too many topics, but that's what... Look, she's, this is her first time on the pod, so she's not used to this. Definitely not. No, not at all. But I am, so we're going to keep running this the way keep it's supposed going. to go. Keep going, let's go. Um, okay, so how about your first heartbreak? Oh. Since we're talking Third about... Third grade. Hold on a Third second. Third grade, no this is, this is This is the On tis- Valentine's Day. What? This What's is up? the Tiz Talk Podcast, episode number eight, The Heartbreak Kids. Zzz. The Zzz. Zzz. So I want to know about her first heartbreak. And then she's probably going to ask me the same question, and we'll see how I answer that. First heartbreak. Um, Third grade. Was re- really it wasn't felt. a real heartbreak. It was like my first rejection. So rejection is heartbreak. You know what I mean? I mean, I wasn't really emotionally invested, but I basically got a kid at Valentine's, brought it to school. Um, put it in his locker, and then I didn't get one back, and I was so upset by know, that. Did I know this person? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, and it really didn't matter, like, in the long run, but that was the first time I was like, ouch, like, the sting. And I still remember it, and here we are. I'm, you know, she's, she's old. No, you're not old. <laughs> we're not old. We're not old, actually. We're very young, but um, no, I. But I obviously, still you know her. Obviously, you know her above thir- We're thirty or a plus because of what we just talked about. Yeah. So I mean, that was my first heartbreak. Second real heartbreak where I was emotionally invested. Seventh grade. How old are you in seventh grade? Like thirteen. Thirteen, fourteen. I mean, oh. that was puppy love, you know. Yeah, puppy love. So. But I basically decided after getting heartbroken, I was like, no, I think I'll be doing the heartbreak. And, and I think I did a little bit of that. So what, should we start calling you the heartbreak kid now? I don't know. I mean. I don't think Shawn Michaels would like that very much. Um, <laughs> I would tell Shawn Michaels to uh, suck it. <laughs> God, I have pumped way too much fucking knowledge of DX into her mind. I mean, um, <laughs> uh, also girls in your 20s, tell niggas to suck it. Hey, you were telling me to be quiet. Now you're screaming. I mean, when it comes to... All right, okay, okay, okay. You don't need to... <laughs> okay. Anyway, Taylor, uh, when was your first heartbreak? Um, uh, It wasn't nearly as young as yours that I can remember. Um, The first time I really felt like, like a heartbreak, like yeah. hurt over a woman or over a girl was probably senior year of high school. 
think you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, for sure. I remember that. But that was like, I was young. Uh, I didn't know what love is. I still we still don't, don't know. But yeah, I mean, that was something that it just it, it disturbed was me. It, it wasn't. I wouldn't say it was crushing, but it was. It disturbed me for sure. Disturbed me. Like, disturbed me meaning, like, I just, I, I couldn't get it off my mind, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Uh, it took a while. And so, okay. But I remember, I was 17, 18 years old, so, I mean, the, my standards and ch- shit were all fucked up back then. I mean, wow. dude, when I was 17 years old, shit, I smoked so much fucking weed, I probably didn't even know what a fucking standard was. Mm-hmm. Or a, a real relationship, I mean, come on, guys, you know, Sorry. Yes, I smoked weed in high school. Fucking sue me. Uh, yeah. Hello. <laughs> okay. So did everyone. Many people. Yeah. I shouldn't say everyone. Are you going to ask me something else now? Um, I was, I was going to say, like, how'd you get over it? At time. As time heals everything. Yeah. It's just time. I think so, too. Time. And I don't even think it took that much time. I don't remember. But Time. Time it heals most things. In the long run, it does. Yeah. Sometimes it'll never be healed, but it'll get better as time progresses. Mm-hmm. That's the way I look at it. That's real. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, that's that was, uh, I guess, my first heartbreak. But Whose heart did you break? Oh, fuck. I, have, I don't know. You don't know? I, I could have definitely broken a lot of hearts. But no one has, like, told you, like... Uh, not, like, specifically said, oh, my God, you broke my heart. But laid it out to the point where I got it. And it was more, that was the kind of, well, shit. Yeah, my high school sweetheart. Uh, definitely broke her heart. Did Aww. purposely do it, but, you know, I was... Like, um, I don't think anybody does. No, no, no. But I mean, I was kind of—I would say I was a little direct, blunt. I was like, you know, as soon as I'm, as soon as high school's over and I move to California, you know, this is over, right? Fucking, she started bawling. And I'm like, oh shit, I should have said that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe could have eased in the yeah, delivery. I, well, I just didn't. You know, I thought that was the way things worked in high school. You oh, know, God. I've seen too many fucking movies. I don't know. High school boy. But, but, but the thing is that, that that particular person I'm talking about, we're still friends. Yeah, and we for still sure. talk. And, She's happy, I'm happy. But, like, back then, like, we were young, and that was just how I saw things. And I wasn't afraid to say, straight up say it, apparently. And how I think about it, I'm like, wow, dude, what the fuck? Why would you say that to somebody? But I did, and it was, I had to get through that. That's not, um, anyways. Uh, but other than that, though, straight up, I think that um, the only times that I've really broken anyone else's heart is... Uh, it's either been like a mutual thing. Like we broke each other's hearts. Like it was because it was half my fault and half the other person's fault. Yeah. Uh, so like whoever ended it or it was a mutual ending, you know, we were both heartbroken. Mm-hmm. Whether I was in the wrong, they were in the wrong. Whether I just said I'm over this and you didn't do anything. Or, yeah, whatever. I've definitely broken some hearts for sure. Uh, I think, I think. I'm not saying that like in a bragging way. No, no, what no. I'm saying is, I, I definitely think I, I have, uh, I regret it, but you know, I'm, I'm a realist and yeah. I'm not feeling it. I'm not fucking feeling it. I mean, and also, like, you move on. Like, every relationship is an experience that hopefully, I would hope people get some kind of insight from. Like, I've been in many relationships, I've broken some hearts, I've, gotten my heart broken but I think every relationship I've walked away with some knowledge or at least well, reflecting I mean, on it every experience you experience in life you're going to walk away smarter than you did than before because Hopefully. no I mean you should you should learn I every day you learn something new you do whether you realize it or not certainly you're always gaining knowledge so yeah, you're walking away with more knowledge than less, regardless. As you move forward in life, every second, you're gaining knowledge. This is off a tangent. I'm going on a tangent, but that's the truth. I'm just trying to feed into what she was talking about. Um, um, yeah. I, I don't know. I'm a, I'm what would you say to someone who's, who's heartbroken this season? 
a Valentine's Day. Like that just... I broke their heart? No, in general, like a human that's listening. Oh, like I'm the one to give the advice. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Shit, why don't you do that? Advice to someone who's hurting Well, I mean, season? you're asking me to do it. I'm like, come on. Really? Me? Come on. I mean, No, okay. I don't have the advice. I'm not, I don't. I, I'm actually, I could use the advice. Okay, I would say, <laughs> then perfect. Um, I would say invest the time of, of, feel every feeling that is coming up and then invest in loving yourself. Definitely love yourself. I think it's easier to love others in our culture um, and it's harder to take the time to love yourself the way you really should. And that's what the real Valentine's Day is all about, is loving yourself, Anne. Yes. <laughs> Seriously. Because this is a joke. To me, it's a fucking joke. It really is. I cannot believe how many people get excited about this fucking holiday. It's not even a holiday. I mean, we don't even get the day off of work, man. What the fuck? It's stupid. It's dumb. People. Fucking, jeez. Get with the times. All right. We're going to continue on with this Valentine's Day shit. I'm just telling you guys how I feel about it. Um, <laughs> on that note. Wait, on that note, here's my fucking feelings on Valentine's uh, Day. Right. The Hallmark holiday, fuck that shit. Um, what did you mean? Like, should, you know, like cards? No, no, I'm just saying like in terms of like the American, like spend all your money on like oh, showing people you Christmas love them. Christmas and fucking Thanksgiving. Yeah, and no, it. I agree with it's you 100%. All about the almighty it's dollar, bullshit. Fam. It's bullshit. It's all about the almighty dollar. That's what they're after. That's why it's advertised so strongly. That's why they, oh, guess what? You have four days. If you order this now, it'll get to your loved one in time before Valentine's Day. It's like, who gives a fuck? No, you should show love to those people that you love in your life, however you can, as often as you can. But why do you got to do it? On, like, what makes this day so special? Besides the fact that it's my brother's fucking birthday, that's the only thing that I care about. <laughs> that fucking February 14th. Shout out, bro, fam, love you. That's the real holiday. Happy birthday. Your birthday. Not this shit. <laughs> But Susanna can... Oh, I just... This used to be my favorite day. And I think it's because I'm such a lover and I love loving. But I um, I do hate the spend all your money element. And I think that we should all be loving every day. I think that's really what the world's about. And we always forget that. Everybody raise your hand if you think Susanna should have just lived in the 60s. <laughs> <laughs> fuck my off. My is way the fuck up. Fuck off. Off. I would have loved to live in the 60s. I don't know what you're talking about. We can take acid and, you know, smoke weed and be hippies and fucking I, hate against the government. That would have been fucking sick, son. Well, but, but, we didn't We didn't take acid, but we can do all of those things fucking right now. No, <laughs> well, I don't want to. That's, I mean... That's what I'm saying. Get with the times. Those are not the times anymore. I'm not, I'm not with no, you. No, but they're still there and they're around. It's fine. It's all good. It's all good, Tom. It's all good. Um, so... I, okay, on heartbreaks, are we done with that topic now? I think so. Okay. <laughs> I'm done with it. What I'd like for Susanna to elaborate on a little quick, explain where Valentine's Day even came from. Oh, well, here's the thing. I did some research on this earlier. Did you delete it? Of course, I'm sure I did, but I can pull it right back up. 21st know. fucking century. So it basically came from... It's like a Roman thing. Yeah, it came from the Romans, like... 500, um, like 490 something. Let me find this shit. What? I'm not good with numbers. Like the year uh, 400? Yes, like, yes. You did say 400 something. Right? Yes, I, I did. Basically, it was a Roman holiday and it was some weird shit. Like, there was some weird, well, I mean, weird. Well, I'm looking it up. Hold on. I mean, okay, while she's looking that up, what I want to clarify. Because a lot of people think that Valentine's Day is based on the St. Valentine's Day Massacre in 1929. It's not. It's not. I that thought I happened. fucking I thought it was. Yeah. But it, I was wrong. Um, mm -hmm. So let me give you some insight on the St. Valentine's Day Massacre real quick. St. Val Valentine's Day Massacre was, you know, it was in 1929 on Valentine's Day. And it was uh, the day that, you know, seven men were murdered, and they were associates of Chicago's Northside Gang. Um, those men were gathered at Lincoln Park, which still exists today, 
um, in the garage on the morning of Valentine's Day in 1929. They were lined up against the wall and shot by four unknown assailants who were dressed like police officers. The incident resulted from the struggle to control organized crime in the city during Prohibition between the Irish Northsiders, headed by George Bugs Moron, I think that's how you said it, Moron, Moron, and their Italian Southside rivals, led by the almighty and everyone knows Al Capone. The perpetrators have never been conclusively identified, but former members of the Egan's Rats gang, working for Capone as suspect of a significant role, as are members of the Chicago Police Department who allegedly wanted revenge for the killing of a police officer's son. That's the gist of the St. Ma- the Saint Valentine's Day Massacre. Not where this came from, but happened on that day, and people get that confused. Dude, what the fuck? Why? What the fuck? Why? Mafiosos, why? man. You just answered the question for yourself. Mafiosos. Mafiosos. So yeah, fucking kidding me? It's Al Capone. So dumb. I mean... Let's not even dive deeper into that. Can yeah. you answer? Can you go back now on time? And- yeah, okay. So the holiday, so here's where it originates from. The holiday has origins from the Roman festival of Lupercalia. This is a Latin word, so I'm sure I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. Held in mid-February. The festival which celebrated the coming of spring included fertility rites and the pairing off of women with men by lottery. Don't you just love that, ladies? So fucking romantic. I don't know how many later ladies uh, I have my audience, but... You might get some today. Maybe. Um, anyway, Shut men, lottery, not tight. Not tight. Um, at the end of the 5th century, Pope Galatius replaced Lupercalia with St. Valentine's Day. It, became, it came to be celebrated as a day of romance from about the 14th century... Although there were several Christian martyrs named Valentine, the day may have taken its name from a priest who was martyred about 270 CE by the Emperor Claudius II Galatius. Uh, here's, all right, this is just like getting really wordy. You guys can find this on the Britannica website, um, which is a way better well, look source. Look it up on fucking Wikipedia. No, Wikipedia sucks. No, it doesn't. Wikipedia is awesome. Man, my boy, shout out, shout out, RBP gang, Ross Bolin. He has a segment that he does literally on Wikipedia. Every other episode, it's called Stuff to Wikipedia When You're High. Oh, God. And it's badass. Is it? I really? think it's fucking awesome. I Dude, mean, shout out, Ross. Show. Hey, gang, 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 big inspiration. Love the pod. Keep it going, son. H Town rap. Here we go. But anyways, 100%. 100%. 100%. But if you want to look it up on Wikipedia or look it up on whatever Suzanne is. Did you say Britannia? Britannica. 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 Oh, Britannica. My Britannica. God. Sorry. Um, yeah, I mean, I thought that was a good description of kind of how it started. But I started getting wordy. But there was some other weird ritualistic shit in there about like blood on the cheeks and all this weird stuff. I don't know what these Romans were right. fucking thinking. Well, what are they doing? Why did they have to kill all these? What What's the whole point? They were probably tripping on some shit and thought they saw some things and <sighs> thought that that's what they were told to do. I mean... In my opinion, that's how the Bible was written. <laughs> but I, I've said this before. I'm not a religious man. I'm a spiritual guy. I don't really believe in religion. Do your family, past family issues, and also just being a realist, personally. No offense to anybody family. out there who is religious. That's just how I feel. Okay. Um, but that's also off topic, so I don't know why I even said that. Um, anyways, I mean, we have a list of things to talk about, but what I tried to explain to Susanna is, like, we created this list, I'm like, you do realize, like, I, I spitball most of this stuff. Like, I don't really, it's like, I mean, like, I look at something, I'm like, oh, I should probably talk about that. But we're not really diving into headlines today. We're not. If we were diving into headlines, I'd have that kind of script, or not scripted, but, like, ready to go. I do have a couple I'd like to talk about, though. Let's or at least at least one more. Go. So I was looking at an interesting article on Vice. Uh, in the title, which is so strange to me. I, I don't know if I can relate to it completely, but um, well, it's it, the, the, it's called "How to Get Rid of an Agonizing Crush oh, on the yeah. on the Exact Wrong Person," which mm-hmm. I was kind of like, that's worded really weird. 
But then uh, you get to read a little bit, and it says, weirdly, avoiding them can make your feelings even more intense. Like, wow. I don't, I don't know. Um, when commitment feels rare and everyone's lonely, change of heart is a Valentine's Week's investigation mm-hmm. of what makes relationships so hard and how we can make them better. Um, I'm not going to read this whole fucking thing. But basically, I think what it's trying to say is... is <laughs> You know, if you get a crush that you're trying to get rid of, they're giving you advice. I'll I'll read a little bit real quick. It's very likely that at some point in your life, you'll suddenly develop an inexplicable attraction to slash longing for someone you shouldn't. I have done that. For sure. I agree. (laughs) Maybe it's your best friend's boyfriend. Oh, shit. Or your parent's slightly better dressed sibling. Perhaps it's your direct boss or a coworker who works excruciatingly closely with you it could even be your therapist or a trusted teacher (laughs) whoever they are the most sorted unasked for crushes involves someone you can't imagine avoiding or dating Hmm. you know so number one be kind to yourself Mm. but still be cautious i love this number two instead of fantasizing About the crush, redirect your mind to all the negative emotional consequences that could come as a result. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Word, son, word of the wisdom. Uh, Three, casually reduce your time around your crush, but don't go so far that you end up thinking about them even more. Mm, That's a slippery slope, yeah. Like the snowball effect. Mm. Um, Four, find a safe person you can talk to about this crush. Safe zone. Yeah, DZ yet Discovery Zone. Uh, anyways, that was dumb. Discovery uh, Zone was the best. And they're actually bringing it, they're bringing it back, by the way. No way. They are. Yeah, look it up. They are bringing it back, guys. That's awesome. 90s kids, 80s babies, 90s babies. I love that. They this. are bringing back DZ at Discovery Zone. I, love I don't know it. where or who or where they're doing it or when it's happening, but I saw something about it. It is. I think it's true. I love it. And number five, learn something new from what you're... Sorry, learn something new from what you were feeling. Preach. Keep your mind open. You're feeling these feelings, right? There's that you maybe haven't felt before. Or maybe you have. <laughs> but learn from this shit, okay? It's like, don't let it fucking eat you up, man. Like, that'll, that'll just drive you crazy. Oh, man. Crushing. That's so hard. It is. It cr- crushing. 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 Yeah, it's crushing. crushing. So, I mean, that, those are the main points I wanted to take from this stupid article of advice put out but um you know it actually makes a lot of sense if you think about it and also we just learned about discovery zone coming back <laughs> if you're crushing go to discovery zone get your mind off this crush when it comes back um oh. another thing i wanted i was looking at you know it's, it's like valentine i know i already talked about this but valentine valentine's day the biggest bullshit holiday of all mm-hmm. why why is you don't that? get the day off well, that's one of them. Valentine's Day is all about money. Yeah, spin, 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 uh, spin, spin. It's all about money. Okay. <laughs> Just as a disclaimer, or well, I'm not going to read the fucking article because I'm not the one who wrote it, but it's all about money, fam. It is. Valentine's Day isn't anything special. I mean, why can't any random day be special? I just said this. Why can't any random day be special? What's wrong with March 17th or August 8th or better yet, fucking today? Or Preach. not today, because today is Valentine's Day. I'm saying, I, I, uh, sorry, uh, tomorrow. What's so special about this day? Which you tried to explain, but it still doesn't make any sense to me. Regardless, why do we celebrate? You have to have a fucking holiday in February. We have, we are, we do. I'm saying it's Black History Month one, and I Preach. believe I believe that uh, President's Day is on, Mon- on Monday. Monday, yeah, yeah, it's on Monday. So we have holidays. What do you? Yeah, talking? we don't spend fucking money for those holidays. America needed to make some fucking money. America. The world celebrates Valentine's Day. No. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. Google it. You Google it. If if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And she's going to fact check me here, fam. Um... Valentine's Day isn't about real love. I mean, it isn't. It's it's all it's all materialistic shit. It's like being seen at the right place, at the right time, wearing the expensive bottle of wine, and you know the guys end up paying for most of it anyway. Oh my god! 
Was I, I can't right? can't believe he's right. I told you. Valentine's Day is a decidedly international holiday. Oh, my God. I th- thank you. That has evolved over the years. Can I get a praise? Can I get a praise? Tis? Praise, tis. <laughs> oh, my God. I was right. I, was I right. can't even believe it. Uh-huh. What a pain. Well, that is, the good thing is, at least everyone loves love. You know, that makes me so happy. But that's, the thing about it is, though, and I'm not trying to take away from all y'all's happy Valentine's Days and shit, is this is not, what's, <sighs> there's no significance behind this, this holiday. Mm. There's not. And you're talking to two single people here, okay? And me, like I said, I had had my first actual date. Or was dating somebody in Valentine's the last year in a long time. Um, I still fucking hated it. <laughs> Didn't understand it. And I still don't. That's just because I'm a realist, guys. And y'all know that. You've heard me talk so much. You got to know by now. I just, I don't believe in this this materialistic bullshit. Okay? That's me. It's my opinion. I'm not trying to hurt anyone's feelings. <laughs> Even though I might have. Um... I'm I'm almost over talking about this shit now. I know. Um, we have a couple of things we can talk about, though. I mean, well, but here's the most fucked up part for mm. me. I'm a realist too, but it's Valentine's Day. Okay. And what the fuck does that mean? I'm still gonna feel some type of way. Okay, I mean, you have every right to feel every type of way you want to on any day. I do, but I think because there is such a hype. And you it's just like, fall victim to that? No. Come on, don't but fall I victim also, to that bullshit. No, no, no. It's more so that I just love love so much. And I've for so many years, it's like been my most celebrated day. I mean, I used to, instead of a holiday card, I would send out a Valentine's card instead of a Christmas card with my kids. Oh. 100%. Okay. Which I'll probably like, will what? do again. I was like, what you An doing? Instagram post, but just, you know. Yeah. So that's a real love for me. <laughs> so who are you going to love today? Myself. And every day. There you go. I always love myself. I love my fam. I love my peeps. I love my circle. The people that don't drag me down. The people that support everything that I do. Whether it's tough love or not tough love. Because I get a lot of tough love, trust me. I get a lot of shit, people. Mm-hmm. Um, but... No, it, it all comes full circle. And, and, you know, if you really want to look at it like that, Susanna, then yes, this could be a day of reflection of the people that you care about, that are in your life, and that should that you, that you cherish in your life. That's what I can take from this pathetically over-exaggerated, celebrated day, is that you can at least... You know, it gives you the space and the time the, to to, to think reflect. about who the who your real peeps are and who the real peeps who who are the people who are, are not who are fake. In, your in life. the spirit of love. In the spirit of love. I love it. Yeah, yeah. All right, we have some a little more time. What what's we got should time. you Q and A? I mean, um, let's just let's do that. We're single people. We want to know. Okay. Okay. This is the first time I've been seeing one in a very long time. I got Q-Nade last time on my show, and then I had to fucking spill the beans on the picture of the fucking car. Oh, well, that's not that scary. What? Is love scarier than that? That's not scary? Did you not not see the car? Dating a relationship is fun. Like, that's fun convo. Yeah. No, the car is fucking terrifying. Fucking scary as shit. Terrifying. Yeah, Yeah, I walked away. Terrifying. Um, by the grace of God and others. Like, yeah, I think it was more of others, not even God. Sure. Um, but I'm not trying to go back into that. Um, yeah, Q and A, fine. I'll go. Shoot. Hit me. No, you no, hit me. No, 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 no. Ladies first. Okay, I have so many questions. Well, okay, we're not gonna do so many. It's not so many. Okay, I've never been on a. Have you ever been on a dating site? I've downloaded it, but I've, I've never actually, like, followed through and went on one. Okay. Like, I've connected, uh-huh. but we never did anything. Like, like I, anywhere. that makes me so interested. Like, but I deleted and, those a long time ago, by the way, because it's such a waste of fucking time. Well, I mean, to maybe for some people yeah. it's really not. Well, like, I'm so curious. Uh, uh, I'm very, um, what do you call it? I'm I'm extroverted, so I'm more prone or more, lo- my luck or my chances of, of meeting a girl and Going on a date or one night stand slash take her home, whatever, 
are so much higher if I just go out to a bar. Yeah. Than if I get on some stupid app. Yeah. That's introverted stuff. And I am the opposite of that. Yeah, true. That. So that that's me. True. That's why I deleted all that Tinder, Bumble crap. I just, it just like, oh, dude, fuck that. <laughs> Those days are over in my opinion anyway. I mean. They're all I, robots on there. Are now. they? For the, I mean, at least, yeah. Yeah. A lot of them are fucking not real people. That is terrifying. It's extremely terrifying. And what? Like, that's like catfishing. I hope you're not dating people on these apps. Are you fucking kidding me? I I don't even know how to, like, I don't even know what to do on my phone to even find that. I would never. I would never. Okay, then why would you have an app on your phone then? I don't. I'm just saying, I don't even, like, you know I don't even know how to do anything on my fucking phone. Like that is true. She's very, very, (laughs) like, ignorant when it comes to fucking working any kind of 21st century. Um, What's there, the question? What did, What was my question? You said something about the dating apps. Okay, well, dating apps really, really intrigue me. I just think the whole thing is it's like a it's whole a question, different though, subculture right? that... No, it's not even a question. No, but that's what we're doing. Q&A. Oh, yeah, we're Q&A. Come on. Okay, Q&A. Um, okay, this is a good one. Bleached hair or natural hair? Like uh, me? For, for ladies. Like, are you asking me if I like... Blondes? No. What are you asking me? Should girls have their natural hair color, whether it's blonde, whether it's brunette, whether it's anywhere in between? That doesn't, to me, that, that, that I don't care. I mean, if I had to choose a hair color, obviously you know me well enough. I know you, but yeah. I'm a blonde guy. Yes, for but, sure. But that does not mean that I stop there. I mean, no. I, the, the hair color is not very important to me. But I do, if mm-hmm. I... I guess the real my question... past, it, it, my past shows that I, I go after blondes for sure. Yes. But so my real question, I guess, is like natural or like, would you see that? It doesn't bother me. I'm a guy. Like, I don't care about that. See, that's what I'm, I love this. I don't. I mean, maybe some guys do. I don't. I don't care if your hair is bleach blonde or dirty blonde or you're brunette and you dyed it blonde. Not like, the color of the hair. More so like... The fact that you're like altering your natural state. You might as well just ask me, do I approve of fake tits? Sure. I don't mind them. Fuck. <gasps> I mean, do I want to marry someone with them? And then like, are they like ridiculously large? Like, does she look like a hooker? I ain't gonna marry her. No. But one night stand? Yeah, for sure. Not even a fucking question. But they better, you know, she, proportionally, uh-huh. symmetrically, everything better be in line. Okay? <laughs> That's the way I look at it. God, I sound like an asshole. Um, but that's but that's the truth. I mean, if you're gonna ask me about a fucking hair color, it's like just just like, like natural or fake like, like is natural, what I'm getting. Like you at. might as well get to the point. Natural fake or tits fake or, or, or real tits, preferably real. Okay, but to but me, will I, will I fake? I'll take them. I mean, it, unless they're just like so awkwardly, like extremely, like busting out. Like, I don't know. There is a line drawn in the sand. I don't know where that is. <laughs> But there that's is a one. real. That's there a is, great. Fucking there is answer. a draw. There is a line drawn in the sand, but it doesn't bother me that much. Shake tits, like I just can't. I mean, I'm I, a guy. It doesn't bother me that much. You're a woman, of course. Touching tits, like I just can't. To even. me, it's like balloons, man. Like, is it? Like like Jim Carrey said, liar, liar, man. I wish I could bounce those things like Sugar Ray Leonard. Ba, 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 ba. Um, I mean, that's basically... I'm literally way, hanging my head. I can't. That's the way that I see it when it comes to this question of do I care if they're fake or real, fake hair, or fake tits. I don't. Uh, now, if I'm going to date this person and they might be someone in my life for a long time, I might vet that out a little bit. Yeah. But if it's just like I'm at a bar, I mean, come on. Okay, so now you're date. So you're single. So do you date just for... I guess it just depends, huh? I don't really date. Are you, are you looking for a like long term? No, right now, no. I'm chasing the bag. I am chasing the, way to be. the bag. And if y'all don't know what the bag is, I'm trying to make money. <laughs> That's my focus. I'm in love with the money right now. That's least. the way to be. Yeah, no. Money, money can cause a lot of problems. But I promise you, she won't break your heart. It won't break your heart. 
Definitely not. Because because there are no she's on the bills. I guess they're all fucking old slave owners anyway. Uh, you know, Benji's chasing it. You know, like like uh, like uh, Drake said. You know, <laughs> Bill so big I call him Williams for real. I gotta re- like everybody knows how I feel about Drake, but I love that fucking line, dude. And don't you forget. Hate Drake? I don't hate Drake. I respect him. Good. good. I respect Drake. Good. Okay? Good. I do respect him, but, but, I do have problems with him. I, I, and, and it goes into just some of the stuff you've heard in the media. I, I've talked about this on previous pods, so I'm not going to do this. The one thing I will say, though, Drake, even though I do respect you, and I'm going to have said this again, don't ever forget, you are not October's very own. I'm three days older than you, okay? I was born October 21st, 1986, son. You were born October 24th, 1986. I run October, not you, and don't you ever forget that. Oh, my God, bless. I'm going to leave it at that. Oh, God, okay. So, anyways. Thank God you respect him. No, I do respect him. How could you not How respect him? How could you not, him? exactly? But, but, you know, I got my issues with him. All right, fuck Drake. No, we're moving on. I love Drake. I'm not saying fucking fuck this topic. Do right and kill everything. Apparently, that's what it stands for, Drake. Do right and kill everything. Oh, that's terrible. He said that in one of his songs. Kill everything. What like, is he like, talking like, about? Like, kill everything. Like, like he's the best. Like, he's going to murder it. Like, he's oh. like going to do right, mm-hmm. kill everything in his path. Not, like, in a bad way. I think that's what he meant. Okay. All right. Yeah, that was from 2010. That was 10 years ago. Shit. God damn. Jesus. Um, on the Q&As, so you just asked me. That, Fake or real, yeah. So. You know, I mean, um, from a guy's perspective, I have, I guess I could ask you a couple questions. Bring it. Fucking Valentine's Day, man. Um, okay, you know me very well. Yeah. Here's a question for you. Mm-hmm. Why are all my ex-girlfriends, at least not right now, but 2019, why were they all just coming at me in my neck? I mean, I'm talking, some of these girlfriends Ooh. were from years back. But it was like, it was like they almost like collided and they got together and like attacked me. At the uh, same fucking time. I'm like, what the fuck is going on right now? Why are y'all... Uh, yeah, I just didn't know, and I just basically had to block everybody. Because <laughs> I was like, well, oh, somebody must be on their period. I'm sorry, everybody must be on their period. And I'm just not going to deal with it, and I'm blocking you. And I did, hmm. and I never unblocked them. So, but why? Why? Like, I, I, I literally, like, four. Four wow. of my ex-girlfriends that were beyond a year of breaking up. Like, some of them. Some of them were within a year. What the fuck? The fuck they coming at my neck for, man? I was a nice dude when we were together, okay? Now, you pissed me off. I might have said some nasty things, but, like, the, but the, I said those things after you came at me first, okay? So uh, that's my defense. Why, Susanna? What the fuck did I do? I mean, so I think the reason why is because when it rains, it fucking pours. Mm. And... Truthfully, I think that last year was a huge year in growth for you. Like everything kind of happened to once again, as though you haven't had enough of these falls and rises. This was this was it. This was one for the fucking books. What twenty nineteen? Yes. Oh yeah, twenty nineteen was. It was definitely like the toughest year I've ever had for several different reasons financially it was okay yeah but anything else beyond that was i mean there were some great moments like my brother got married i was the best man i gave a great speech i thought you you did give a great speech <laughs> and i didn't even look at a no script Unscripted. from the head you really did. from that the was head good from the dome son but um other than those like night you know about my brother's bachelor party there's a lot of things that happened in 2019 that made me realize that I need to cut the toxic shit out of my life. Like, cut the toxic shit, cut the toxic people. So basically, like, my... I used to run with, like, god damn, I don't even know how many people I was friends with. Like, I just knew... Like, I was friends with everybody. And a lot of these people probably weren't, like, good for me to be friends with. Preach. Or, or whatever, not saying that necessarily, but what I what I what I realized was last year, and I honestly it, it went both ways. I think I pushed a lot of people away because of my behavior. Uh, but at the same time, I also decided to cut some people out of my life. 
because For your they sake. were dragging. I felt like they were they were dragging me down. Yeah. And the combination of me pushing people away and me deciding to cut people out of my life, my circle, which was probably the size of, I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to think of a good thing. Good a big difference. circle. The okay. fucking Astrodome. Your shit was huge. It's a big circle. But it's the size of a decimal point now. That's you good. know, and as I said in previous episodes of the Tiz Talk podcast, as Jay-Z says, the circle gets smaller, the castle gets bigger, the walls get taller, and it couldn't be true. I've decided to... Spend more time alone. Set up more of these, as my boy Ross Bowen would say, these uh, standing coffee slash lunches for anybody who doesn't know what that means. It's kind of like a repeating meeting with a friend mm-hmm. that you do on like a regular basis. Nice. Um, starting to get better at that. Uh, sometimes I could be a hermit and just don't want to fucking leave the house. I don't know. Sometimes that shit's just good for the soul. Still doesn't answer the question as to why all why these, all these girls? fucking girlfriends are coming at me. I mean, I just... And I get it. I probably pissed them off beyond belief. What, do you, why, what, what are the they doing? Time, they're just... Though, why at the same time? What are they doing? They're, they're bombarding me. F- fa- f- stating false things, first of all. False accusations. False accusations. And just coming at me like fucking... At, just coming at my neck. And I'm just like, do I retaliate or do I just block them? And and just like, just ignore it. And I chose to, after I said a couple words to them, I decided to block them. Um, no, but yeah, I, I learned, okay, that was something new that I learned in 2019, how to block people on my phone. Didn't I do that before? Um, that goes beyond my ex-girlfriends. That goes to other people as well. Uh not going to name names, but people who have burned the bridge with the tiz. You don't do that. Fam, do not become an enemy of mine, please. Don't do it. Uh-uh. You don't want to do that. Bad idea. Um, All right. Back anyways, to the girls. But I'm just curious, though. I mean, can you answer that question? I don't know. I don't know. You must have pissed some people I off. I definitely did. But you know what? They, they're exes for a reason. I think that's we have to trust ourselves, you know? People become exes for a reason. If they're coming out for you, that you know, people people like react in weird ways. Okay, I don't, I'm not sitting at home like like oh my god, I miss her so much. I just no, yeah. to to go back. no, I don't fucking do that. Okay, that's a waste of fucking time. There's so many fish in the sea. Like Jesus, sorry, religious people. What I'm getting at is, don't waste your time over one person. I mean, unless it's that, unless that is the one, and you know it. You know, do what you gotta do, fam. But I'm not gonna sit there and fucking like wallow in my own shit about a breakup when there's so many other options out there. I mean, there are eight billion people on the planet. Come on, man, get over yourself, ladies. Just don't flatter yourself, okay? You're not that great. Happy Valentine's Day. Jesus Christ. I'm an asshole. I know. (laughs) <laughs> I'm not. God damn it, Susanna. You just brought it out of me, you know? Did I? Kinda. Did I? We spent way too much time together today. We did spend a lot of time together today. Yeah. From coffee to... From coffee to pod. Yeah, yeah from coffee to pod. Um, on that note... Happy Valentine's Day. I, 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 I'm out. Yeah, I mean, I'm out of... of uh, me and Susanna decided to spend this Valentine's Day together because we're both single. And, and not we, really mingling. We're definitely not mingling, but we're mingling and we're talking about stuff on the One pod. thing we can say is we have had some pretty unconditional love as friends. And that's very fucking hard to find for many years. Yeah. There's only a few there's only a few in my circle. My circle of that is a decimal point too. Shout out Megan. Shout out Mama Mia Megan. Shout out Lover. Jada Kiss. Jada Raider. Shout out Maridical. <laughs> Haven't heard that one, but it's not a real name. What up, Maridical? Marid. Marid. I know who you're talking about. Uh, one stunner. That's about it. Uh, shout out to my sister too. 
Shout shit, out to your sister, too. As much shit as I've given her, God. And, and as much shit as she's given me. Oh, God. We're on good terms. It's okay. It we're, is. We're finally, on good terms. we're finally on good terms again. We're always back and forth, but I love my sister. I love of my family. Of course. I know, but there's been times where it was like, oh, uh, yeah. you know. And you've been there, too, with it. But we're not talking shit Unconditional about love is... is it's unconditional, unconditional. Love. Yeah, you love You, you might get artists. pissed. You might have seasons. You might have reasons that you're not in each other's lives. And then you come back around. And, and that's, that's the way it goes. Kind of the beauty of, I guess, the way I can look at Valentine's Day. Again. And love. Yeah, it's in sort general. of like the way I look at Christmas. Huh. Because I'm not religious. And I also don't believe in this holiday. But it's more of like the fact that everyone's together. Yeah, exactly. It brings it's a time. people together. Yeah. That's the beauty about it. The all the shit behind it, that's for the fucking birds, man. I'm not specifically talking about Christmas. I'm talking about Valentine's Day. Now, you want to talk about religious holidays? That's a whole nother story and a whole nother topic that I am not going to get into today. Today. Um but on that note, um, I think I'm about done with this shit tonight. <laughs> uh, unless Valentine's Susanna Day. has something else to say before we keep cut loving, this one. keep loving people. Yeah, keep loving. Because makes you know, the world go round. Makes the world worth living. It does make the world go round, and you know, you just look. One day you're here, the next day you're gone. It's true. Just a uh, word of wisdom from the tiz and Suzy's. Susanna. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, one day you are here and the next day you're gone, and you never know when that moment is going to come. So cherish every goddamn moment you have on this earth because you can come back from literally anything. Anything. If you're alive. Let me finish. I know. Come back from anything. I don't care. Money problems, like a, a serious car accident, whatever. You can come back from anything. Any health issue. But yeah. you can't. Come back from death. Once you cross that line, it's over. So take care of yourselves, fam. Because I'm telling you, like I said this before, I'm a fucking, if I'm a cat, I've used my nine lives. I don't have any more left. So I'm watching my fucking step. I'm watching my step everywhere I go now. Uh, and then with that being said, peace be with you. Love to the ones we've lost. Love to all the ones that we've lost uh that anybody in this world has lost loved ones we've all lost loved ones mm-hmm. um you know, me and Suzanne have definitely lost i think more than the average but uh, we get through it but it what i'm getting it. at is um peace be with you thanks for listening please do your duties go and love prefer- yourself what what are you going to say? Preferably on Apple Podcasts, where you go on and please give me five stars and, uh, you know, uh. subscribe and write a comment or anything like that. And then, and then, and then, then love yourself. Always love yourself. And, and also your other duties. And love each other. Is to share this podcast with one person every week. It's going to get even better. <laughs> so, that being said, again, peace be with you. Happy Valentine's Day. And uh, don't do anything stupid. And my new line that I've been saying lately is just not get your mind correct. Keep your mind correct. Preach. Preach. We are out of here. Heartbreak kids. Heartbreak kids. Zzz. Zzz. It's koozies. Later.